this is Doombox, and I am going to tell you everything you need to know how to hero fast faction farm Kurzik fast. I'll tell you how to do it, some tips, hero builds, all that. Now, I asked you guys to give me episode ideas, and Kurzik fast faction farming was by far the most suggested topic. Now, I wanted to make a video really bad, but there was kind of one small problem. I have never done it before in my life. So, the nice person that I am, I went out and learned how to do this just for you. I'm never going to use this ever again in my life, but I, I taught myself how to, how to hero fast faction farm just, just so I can make this video. So, so yeah. While I was attempting to learn how to do this, I came across why I was getting so many requests to make this video. It's so hard to understand. I, I was reading this guide on the wiki. It, it is it, it has like way too much information than necessary. It, you can't even it, it's so annoying. It took me like a week to figure it out. So so hopefully it'll be pretty clear after watching this if you you can't really figure it out and it's a little, you know, you don't even know what to do like I was for like an entire week. Chances are, if you're watching this video, you probably know what hero fast faction farming is, but just in case I'm gonna go back to the basics. Okay, hero fast faction farming is going to the Ludogardist Conservatory and going outside to Melandru's Hope, taking the quest, securing the Echo Vault Forest, sending all your heroes and some henchmen to do the quest for you in under a minute. You take the quest, accept the reward, get 400 faction, 150 gold, and 2,000 experience. Go back, do it again. Doesn't seem so hard, does it? Well, it really isn't, but when you're trying to learn it from the wiki, it may seem more difficult than it really is. Hopefully this should make it seem simpler. Now, you're going to need three heroes. You're going to need Alkalite Jin, Margaret the Sly, and and Anton, who is more formally known as the Apprentice from Force Unleashed. Now, now I'm not sure if I'm the only person that noticed that, but I mean seriously, look at this. The resemblance is uncanny. Of course, you can use Pyre, Fierce Shot, or Zen Mai if you really wanted to, but I don't know why anyone wouldn't want the Apprentice with them while well, HFFFing. Okay, the skills for both of the rangers are Dash, Dodge, Zojin's Haste, and Shadow Form. Yeah, that's all you need. And then the skills for the Apprentice or Zen Mai are Dash, Dodge, Zojin's Haste, Natural Stride, and Shadow Form. So, it's not as complicated as you would. Think. You're also going to need Devona and Lucas, the two warrior henchmen found in Ludogardus Conservatory right there. Okay, order your heroes like this. Alkalite Jin, Martyr the Sly, and The Apprentice, or Zen Mai, or Pyre Fierce Shot, whoever you're using for your third one. Once you have those heroes with those skills and those two henchmen, you're ready to make your way out to Melanger's Hope. The quest securing the Echo Vault Forest consists of scouting these five locations on the map and you would send your heroes out to do this for you before you take the quest so it is already complete when you accept the quest. So all you have to do is put your hero flags in the right place and activate their skills at the right time. This is the part that can get kind of confusing but I'll try and explain it as good as I can. The hardest part for me when I was learning how to do this was the flag positions. It took me so much time to get the positioning right that I constantly like missed skills and stuff. So here's here's how I'm going to try and explain it to you. Okay. The first flag, which would be your first ranger, 
goes in this lake, which is located right here. Now, see how this lake kind of looks like a mitten? You want to stab that flag right in the pinky of that mitten, right there. So, I'll refer to that place as the mitten from now on. Then, your second flag, which is your second ranger, is going to go in the little, like, lake right next to it, which is located right here. And, you see how it kind of forms a cross, but not really? Like, see how, see what I'm trying to say here? It can make a cross. You're going to stick that flag right in the center of where that imaginary cross would be. Then your third flag, which is going to be your assassin or pirate fierce shot, is is going to go right here. Now see how there's a little path that goes up here and there's stuff there's like little circles and stuff right here. Just just stick the flag right in the middle of that like pile of rubble and stuff. Now your fourth flag, which is the entire party flags which will flag the two henchmen go just right at the end of this bridge. That's that's as easy as it gets. And that will be the order you flag them into. I'll get into more detail of what you do right after this. So when you hear me say like the mitten or the cross or the path or the bridge you would refer to those things I just showed you. Now there is a, another one, another point that you will flag your hero that you sent to the cross after a certain time period. We're going to call this one the river. See how there's a river right here? Okay, you'll see how the river goes up past like the cross, and there's a bridge right here. It's past, it's right past that bridge the river like goes around a little turn thing on the inside curve of the uh... where the river turns there's like a black mountain blob thing and before it starts to turn you see a little divot cave-in thing on the black blob you're going to stab the flag right in that divot right there <laughs> 